Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Growing Pains Podcast. <laughs> the world's most liked podcast and most... Liked well, co-host. <laughs> I'm, am I a co-host you or just co-host. host? Yeah, you're a co-host. We both co-host. Oh, yeah, because we're both still co-hosts. hosts. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Co- <laughs> we're collaboratively hosting a show. Yeah, just one more co-host. light than the yeah. other. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hey, mate, how's your week? We, it's currently Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, the weather's been shit. I, w- I will say that. I, d- I think the weather, the weather. It's giving you seasonal depression. It does, yeah. big time. I get, I, 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 I need outside factors to make I can me... tell you get sad boy hours. Yeah, I do. I do. Like, you know that when I went and run my 16K in the sun, what a day I had, mate. I was brimming. I was, wow. Brimming? Brimming. Oh. Brimming at the beams, mate. I was like buzzing with life. Mm. It's just so uninspired. And I just think this country's uninspiring, to be honest. Yeah, knife crime, acid attacks. Someone got stabbed in Mumford. Oh, that doesn't shock for that. me. Yeah, Pete. Scary place to now. Yeah, we I used know to just is. go there for fun. Yeah, that was my childhood to go mm. brewery. I can't never go there now. No. But what's um, back? Yeah, either way, the, the weather's shit. <sighs> Fuck. That's good. So how's my week been then? <laughs> um, yep. I cooked a roast on Sunday, didn't I, for seven oh, people? Oh, shit, yeah. Faith. I cooked up a little stool. Faith barked off. We, didn't I? Olive's uh, basically, she's on a new sleep consultancy scheme, mm-hmm. Olive is. And it's, by the way, it's amazing. It's, it's the best working. money I've ever spent in my life. Yeah. I love it so much. Yeah. People it's are so asking good. me on Insta what she's called. So it's the Blissful Baby Expert One. Blissful Baby Expert One. Yeah. Fucking hell, mate. This has been phenomenal. So good. Olive now, you put her down, you say, no, no, darling, give her a kiss. She doesn't cry. Doesn't even cry. She just goes to bed. Just goes to bed. Just goes to bed. She's and then wakes good. up at like half six, seven in the morning. It's great. Which is perfect for me because yeah. I'll get up and do shit then anyway. Mm. Um, I love it. Yeah. Amazing. It is but, good. Yeah. She's had a rocky week with it, I'd say, but only because teething and yeah. I think she's got a bit of a bad tummy. But because of the sleep schedule... We we decided to do the roast at our house so oh, that yeah. she can go she can go down at the right time so we don't want to interrupt it too much, um, and yeah, Fizzle K was chef in yeah, a chef didn't I? Yeah, during her afternoon nap, you prepped all your vegetables and that. I did so in the morning. So the day before, I went to the farm sh- our local yeah. farm shops, support your local farms, all that. Yeah. Um, went there and bought everything. Oh my god, it is the most money I've ever spent on one dinner. Of course. That wasn't at a restaurant. £175 for a few fucking potatoes. Of course. That's ridiculous. She said, yep, there'll be £175, please. And Not I was like, oh. potatoes, though, is it? Is, you, you made that like... Cauliflower, potato. broccoli. Yeah, but yeah, but I've hardly bought anything like champagne. We have to go and get all that after. The beef, the... Yeah, but beef the biscuits, beef. That the, was £38. Pound. Did no, the beef was £38. Pound. So I remember that. So it went, it's 38 okay. And I thought, fuck me. Yep. But there was a whole queue, so I'm going to say no. No. Um, well, you, you, it's fresh so farm it's, food. Nuts. It's not going to be cheaper, is it? No, but I was shooketh at the at, at the. You've got no preservatives. It's real food. It tasted good though, didn't it? Yeah, it but anyway, good. whilst Olive was napping, I peeled all my vegetables. I cut them all into the sizes that I wanted, and then I just put them in bowls. I put some of them in ice water. Wow. Yeah, I don't actually know. You know what that does. does? No, I don't know if that actually does anything. But I've seen it on TikTok a few times. So I thought I did that. Yeah. Peeled all my Brussels, which took fucking ages. Yeah. And I did bacon Brussels just for you. You did, yeah. But I, I mean, might eat Brussels, but he will if there's bacon I mean, on you, them. No, I won't even if there's you bacon did. on them. You did, you ate three of them for Yeah, me. I said at the best, I said the only time I will really eat them is if they have bacon on them. But even then, I was But I did that for them. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anyway, fun, I did yeah. cauliflower cheese. I did Yorkshire's like from Smash. That's right. I did <laughs> parsnips. Yeah. Did you like them? Yeah. They were good, weren't they? Potatoes were very, the seasoning on the potatoes was A1. That's what I'm going to say. The beef is lovely. Got tips off Sabina for that. Some would say wife material. Yeah. You're not wrong. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it up with good work. Um, I also cooked. Yeah. For Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 So Faith's done a video and she, on that, one, one of the questions was, what's your death row meal? Yours was calamari, a dirty burger mm. and a creme brulee. It did, it did make me laugh though because it's like that's my death row meal. I don't know if I'd have gone Valentine's Day meal, but it made I me it's laugh. A fun concept, isn't it? Yeah, like, let like, me just try if, it. if I'm about to be like lethally murdered, so to say, well, that's probably what I'd eat. But I also had that for Valentine's, which is now quite funny. Yeah, you never know. Um, so yeah, I was I was cooking up a storm in the kitchen, but I especially cooked with the creme brulee. You did. That's my favourite dessert. It's, it's so your favourite dessert. And guess what? I did it. You did. With the crack on top, everything like that. Got the blowtorch. Got the blowtorch. The only thing I wish, I wish I knew that 
realistically it has to go in the fridge overnight mm. i wish i knew that because then i would have done it the day before i will happily let you live and learn if you want to try again because I, be I, I think it was really tasty it just needed that like because the top half was the, the right it didn't help you spilt some out the oven oh yeah so, you, you essentially have to put them in like a water bath don't you so you put them on a tray you put your ramekins in and then you put the water in and as i was putting it out silly donut it just sort of like flipped and one of the creme brulees went on its side but I still rescued it yeah it is annoying though because things like that really upset you she's like yeah. for fuck's sake so fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm like sake. I'm such a perfectionist like, I was like don't worry about it it's I know, okay but I'm such a perfectionist so that, that <laughs> will like he's like we're fucking ruined now <laughs> yeah that would ruin my, that would ruin my whole day I know a little bit uh, that, I will say that's probably your worst trait because if something so small happens it ruins your whole day but like because it was all going so well. I yeah. was I was like up here. But it here. was still good. It was lovely. Yeah, it was really good. Both got a creme brulee each. Can't go wrong. Exactly. Boom. Had calamari. Cut up a couple of red chilies. A little bit of spring onion. Seasoned them. Made them crispy. Dirty burger was cooked well. Yeah. Juicy dirty burger. Really nice. Let you pick your relish. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Did you like it? I did. It all went very well. Thank you very much. Um, I started vlogging. You have? We both got the same camera. Mm-hmm. Uh, your one, did you set that video off? No, they're being uploaded. I've I scheduled mine out, so I've oh, got wow. I've got a few ahead actually. So oh, you're, you're ahead. I'm ahead, so I've got a couple of weeks. Sorry, off. there's a pro YouTuber in the room. She's a veteran. She's been doing it for years. But I will say, you do say I'm a better YouTuber than you now. I don't think I have to say my audience <laughs> um, love or respect. Yeah. But in terms uh, of picking up the camera and actually doing something, but you do it all actually in a group now, so you don't have to do it personally. Yeah. That I would say, I would say I'm still a better YouTuber if I really tried. That's rude. If I really tried. I know, it's fine. I would literally give it all up tomorrow. I'm really... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm not live or die by the badge. I really don't want to work. That, you don't want to die. You don't want to die for three <laughs> like, points. When it was in the podcast chat, this sounds so bad, but no one really wants to work. Let's be real. Right? So when we said in... I'm, I'm just honest. You're telling me you're sitting at your nine to five listening to this on your lunch break and you want to be there. No, you don't. Right? So when you guys were talking in your chat saying, um, oh, Monday or Wednesday, that's the date I've got free I was like oh, I don't want to work on a Monday <laughs> I was like please don't pick Monday <laughs> just wanted to be at home some days hard, you just got to do it man hard time cooking that roast yeah so you needed a bit of day off I did off but now my hair's all greasy because it's landed on hair wash day so it's all gone a bit Pete's hong but it's fine fair days mate um, but yeah I've vlogged I've vlogged oh yeah that's where that started I've vlogged a couple of days last week and then I've vlogged uh, I'm up, I'm uploading again this week I vlogged yesterday and the day before that what what are you vlogging this week what did I vlog this week I vlogged some of the Sidemen stuff that mm. we've done yesterday I vlogged Side Plus Day as well so yeah just like a little bit see what I'm up you to you just upload your stuff on any random day whenever it's done yeah I might start doing that. Sunday's yeah. feeling too strict. Uh, I don't too like, regiment. Well, I uploaded my last one on Sunday, but I don't know. I don't want to upload the same day as a sideman video. No, it's tough competition. I have to go two hours either behind or in front. And even then, you probably still get a little bit cucked. Yeah, like, I thought you meant you'd still no one would probably watch it. No, 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 no. You no, you get a little bit cucked because if you do two hours before, some people will watch it. But as soon as a sideman video comes out, it's just going to it's going to push it away. Mm. Um, because we we probably have roughly the same audience. No, but this is what I'm out. saying that. Like, I've not uploaded this week so I've still got to check the video I'm not being funny um um yeah Jesus Christ brain fart so I was thinking <laughs> do I have something in my teeth and then I just stopped saying stuff um yeah I've got to check the video out so it's meant to be an ad read and then and then there's no ad read in it now so it all got a bit ski with but then I was thinking why is it so regiment just to a Sunday why don't I just upload when I want do it when you want mate check power them. to the people because it doesn't really affect your views like on Instagram, if you post at 3pm in the afternoon, it's not going to do as well as if you I, do it at I like 8pm. It's not really like that with YouTube, I is it? I always stick to 5 or 6pm. Mm. Is it 5, 6 or 7 is always the best But time. on any day, it doesn't really change, yeah, does it? Yeah, that just, just, that's the ideal time. Yeah, I might that's do what that. Because that's everyone's done with everything that they've got to do, really. Mm. Um, but yeah, subscribe. We're going for 5 million subscribers. I thought you meant me. I can say it's really nice of you. Uh, how many subscribers you got? Like 200,000 or 250,000. That's big. Do you know what I might do? When I'm done with it all, can I sell my account? Probably. I might sell all my accounts. And have my TikTok, my Instagram. I'm done. I'm getting a Nokia. Okay. Um, talking of vlogging, mm -hmm. I vlogged our disappearing dog uh, oh, right. last night. Because, mm -hmm. uh, well, I had, again, another long day of filming yesterday. I didn't get back till like seven, I think. Um, 
And the dog was still not home when I got home. So a bit of context. Me, Olive and the dogs are just playing outside as we do. Um, and then the dog goes under our goat pen with no goats. Boring. Went under there and then goes through next door's garden. But Yeah, but it's because there's bunny rabbits there. That's why. No, Dashians are deer tracking dogs. It's the I'm rabbits, speaking though. weird, it's because i got chocolate in my mouth still. Um, so they're deer tracking dogs and there's always a mum and a baby deer next door. I always see them. And then I text next door saying, hey, my dog's there if you see him. <laughs> and then she went, oh, there's a mum and baby over there. So it's probably just got a smell of that. And I was, like, I was thinking the same thing. But I had Olive on my own, so I can't just start climbing fences and leave my child. Yeah. That's not how it works. Um, but the side he went, it's just fields, 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 fields. And as long as he don't go left where the big scary dogs are. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. So he just cracked on. <laughs> we, we need to find a big enough, a small enough camera mm. that we can attach to him. Because to, I don't think he'll get on well with a GoPro. Go, I don't even think he'd go far. A GoPro is not that good. I yeah. think he'd go under the fence and go up and down that hedge line for three sniffed, hours. Yeah, he just I don't think he's doing much. Because well, we've seen him catch a bunny and there's bunnies we've, in him. Oh, yeah. I, that was traumatic. Well, no, he brought one outside my door, remember? Yeah, but I had to witness a cold death. It over. Remember? Yeah, but that one was already dead. I had to witness the death dying yeah, screams. True, yeah, yeah. And then I told him to leave it. And then I shouldn't have got involved because then it was, had to die. Really you you interrupted horrible. the circle of life. I did, but I also didn't want to tell my do dog, hey, that's okay to do. Because in summer, we're like infested with rabbits. It's the circle of life, darling. Listen, Dashan's got to eat. Dashan got to eat. He does eat. And do you know what's a piss take? We feed him rabbit, raw meat. He don't eat it. <laughs> he doesn't like it. So why are you uh, catching real ones? He's a hunter. Ugh. He's a beast. It's actually um, ridiculous. They're bigger than him. Yeah, so I, I vlogged that. I, was, I went out the door, said, come on, Rolo. And then he just appeared by the stables. So I had to pick him up. Which is a piss take because like 45 minutes before you got home, I was banging his bowl. Come on, come on. I loves me. Loves dad. He does love you. He loves dad. Um... That's but only because yeah. you don't tell him off for peeing on the rug, and I do. <laughs> I do tell him off. <laughs> I um, I picked him, I picked him up, so I jump over the fence, pick him up, chuck him over. He just didn't even wait for me, bro. <laughs> just ran back. Just home. ran back to the house. I was like, he, okay. He's probably thinking, I've been trying to get back here for like two and a half stuck hours. In, I'm stuck I'm in the mud. And I went, All right, cheers, Rolo. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, but yeah, awesome. Mm. Uh, what else did we do? We'd done an advert for a shoe. Right. Oh, us, yeah. yeah. Talk about me, me and Faith were the talent in mm. a jaw-dropping commercial. Jaw-droppingly disgusting commercial. But that's the whole point. That was the whole point of it. Yeah, no, listen, I get it, but it's still not great. It's fucking funny. And it, it done so well. Did it? Yeah. I try not to look. Yeah. It came up on my got few like pages four mil views on Twitter. Oh, that's great. Got like... I don't know how many on their Instagram. That's but what I don't I don't get, right, is yeah. some meme pages reposted it yeah. and all the hate and even the title of the video was hate at me. 1.1 1. 1 mil did, on it's Insta. It's not my advert. I didn't make any of the... Oh, Calix, you know what, mate? I've got a really sick idea for your brand. <laughs> shall I, no. Shall I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll play Calix's uh, voice note from when he sent me what the script is. It's so funny. Where is it? It's really fucking funny. Okay, here's the script. Red... Oh, okay. That's good. Sorry, That's it's funny. Oh, I'll do it. Do on. You play your thing. Have you opened it? Yeah, it's every. Right, here we go. This is Calux doing the script. In the way that Rubber Duck read it to me. Rubber Duck's the producer. <laughs> Ethan, I never met a guy I would train as it smell like cherries before. <laughs> well, Faith, I never met a girl with a sense of smell like yours before. Something like that. That was the kiss. <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I think even he knew with the, let me know. Yeah. But I said, fuck you, man. It's funny. Like, it, it's, it's, it's a laugh, man. But it's a laugh for all your, for you lot. I, I said to you, this is social suicide. And then the only person who got social suicided was me. I don't know why. I don't know why. You tell me. And then you said, the words out your mouth, we was watching your Sideman documentary. You said, um, if you was to receive as much hate as me, you'd have killed yourself by now. <laughs> yeah, that is pass. actually that how was, much uh, hate I'm getting across uh, every it was a, single it was a fucking pass. platform. That was like a passing over exaggerating comment. Uh, I don't believe in, in killing self. Oh, that was my ankle. But uh, yes, everyone, please stop being mean because you, you're hurting our feelings and you're also hurting my feelings because uh, if I, I don't get the people that say that I'm unhappy. Like, they know me. Bet you can't guess what's behind my hand right now. You're swearing at me. No. No, not you. Oh. Them. No. 
What are you doing then? Making a love heart. <laughs> uh, for audio listeners, she was making a love heart because she loves you all so much. Yeah. And she wants to thank you for all the support. Listen, <laughs> it's just, I I don't actually know what it is. I feel like in our podcast, right, I feel like the podcast is actually, I need therapy from this. Actually, I don't know. I wouldn't go, right? Yeah, she actually requested Cal Freezy to stop paying for therapy, by the way. So, uh, fella studios, if you have No, a no, no. I said they should offer... <laughs> Because realistically, if they said you want therapy, I'd probably say, no, I don't think I've got that much to talk about. No. Um, either way, what I was saying is, I even see it on TikToks especially. It's mainly... T- I'll tell you what. It's the boys. It's literally, <laughs> YouTube's fine, Twitter's fine, sort of. No, Instagram's- I have to not use my account on Twitter because the bullying was actually <laughs> Instagram's so all right. Bad. Instagram's all right. TikTok... Like I said, there's been so many funny clips on this podcast that just never get shared. Oh, the Valentine's Day thing I asked for you. All the nice things. But even the funny nice shit. Like, there's been hilarious Nothing. shit. There's been so funny funny bits on here as well. Not even just like cute romantic yeah, bits. Yeah, but then it's all like, um, oh, she's so mid, which is actually really fucking rude. Because um, there's not much I can do about that. But you're not mid. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you're not mid. I believe it, but now. You're not mid. Um, but yeah, no, it's just all fucking nuts everywhere. Like, this is why I say, like, when people go like, oh, she don't want to work, she obviously wants to live off Ethan's money, blah, blah, blah. Listen, if the offer come through, I'd take it because <laughs> what you ain't, the socials ain't a nice place for me. So I am clearly, like, just making my money. That is all I'm doing. It's yeah. not a nice place. Like, if I post something, everyone's like, oh, you fucking, like, oh, shut up. Well, it's, it, again, it's the people that comment like, Oh, she's he's obviously so unhappy. No. Like and if, the baby yeah. trapped one. Yeah. Can I just say, <laughs> right at the fucking beginning, me, my twenty two year old freshly turned self, falling pregnant, unplanned, I was terrified. And I was saying to If you, anyone baby traps anyone, it's me. Thank you. I've been waiting for you to fucking say that. I I, I baby trapped. This oh my god. Eleven twenty Wednesday. I, he I, said it. I baby trapped this fine lady because look, she's lovely looking and now she can't get rid of me forever so uh, I, this is a <laughs> clip this look, product look. I want this clip and I want it on Instagram look she can't get rid of me now because I impregnated her this is what I'm saying bro was saying so even I if want... you do want to split up with me some point down the future uh, which you won't because I am great yeah <laughs> um yeah, I will still be knocking at the door going, hello. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's him. He's the problem. It's not me. Yeah. I've um, been saying this. But everybody, again, remember. I'm actually a lovely person. You are very at nice. Home, yeah. But this I is just, what I'm saying. Everybody, I just think I clap back. Yeah, everybody it. likes to uh, harp on about like mental health and stuff like that after the fact, if someone was to get really affected by it. But then also want to jump on the bandwagons and fucking rinse people. So mm-hmm. you got to pick your sides. What do you want? Are you going to rinse someone forever or are you going to say, God forbid anyone ever does anything really silly? Yeah. Well, then go, oh man, everyone should be really nice because we've seen that happen in the past. Yeah, well, someone commented, it weren't even, bless you, it weren't even on my TikTok. Um, it was under someone else's, so obviously negative about me again. Um, and it said, that, oh, I'm really, really... Um, worried about this this could be a caroline flack situation i'm like listen i am reassure people i'm not going to kill myself because people are calling me the grinch <laughs> like i just want to make that so clear yeah. it's like i don't actually care but it's so mind-numbingly boring for me which is why i've not really got any interest yeah in this because so many influencers get so much love and whatever but i've met a few they're not all. They're not the same as what you're seeing online. Oh, diss track! <laughs> you won't let me do one. I, no, I, no, no. I have no. a diss track fame, written fame, in my notes, fame, and he won't let me re- fame release it. They me like the four it's bars of this diss so track. Good. Yeah. It was fucking mortifying. <laughs> you can't do it. it. No, but it's good. That's why he won't let me. No, do it's it. not good. <laughs> it it is. Me, no, it's quite unattractive. Should actually. I read some now? <laughs> no, no, please don't. <laughs> Listen, my diss track is unattractive. But in, so. your, in your documentary, you said you guys thrived off your dish track oh we 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 did very this well off what I'm of those, saying. let but, me cook but i think that it was like jamie said in the documentary it won't ever be done again ah speaking of jamie can we talk about what you did uh, uh no. i mean I'll, I'll send a message grandma t hello uh, hello we're on our podcast at the minute and your rap came up in combo am i allowed to play the bar please <laughs> I said please thank you hopefully he replies anyway Jamie did something very very cool 
It's awesome. It, yeah. I, I was gassed by it. Yeah. Even everyone in the chat was like, yo, that's fucking sick. You've dropped a cold bar. Cold bar. That's all we can um, say right now. Yeah, cold bars. Cold bars. Um, trending topics. Go on. Elon Musk brain chip. Get in my head now. Get in my head. See this little bit of skull, mate. You can have it. Fucking whack it in there. I've not seen the it. The first person has made a full recovery of having the fucking brain chip in and they can... They can control like a mouse on the computer just using their thoughts. No. That is mental. No. That is men that's just yeah, the but very what, start. What happens when that malfunctions? So we've got to be willing to take. And then you've just flung a mouse at somebody's head. No, not what are you talking about? You said you can control a mouse with your head. Like on a computer. Women like magic. <laughs> Oh, Jamie said, of course. All right, quick yes. response. <laughs> Good. Get me out of that combo. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, all right, this is fucking cold. So, pal, he was in the studio. He had like half an hour left. Wait, can we just say for those that don't know, our child's initials are OP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Go against the green. I'm a man of truth, you know. I don't change when I'm in this group, you know. Group boy, I just aim and shoot, you know. I'm OP like the zingers, you, you know. I've got this little... How cool. She's made it in a song. She's not even two. I'm OP like Bazinga. She's you, now you know. actually officially cooler than me. That beats bro got an o go Bro got an overpowered olive pain bar. She's, she's That's cold. She's, that, that, that's cold. See, I thought her receiving that um, teddy bear from Hamley's was cool. But now she's in raps. It's cool. And it's Jamie as well. Look, there's no better, it? no better Jamie's person so you'd cool, want man. it from. Um, so yeah, big up Jamie, bro. And when that song comes out, catch me rinsing it because yeah. it sounds very cool. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, yeah, brain chip in Brilliant. my head. We're back. I don't care if anyone hacks me. Fuck it, do it, mate. Because I'll probably get compensation at some point. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know, like you no, had something dropped on you in the gym from... and you got compensation. So. I would yeah, say, because that wasn't a fucking faulty bit of equipment. I'll say someone's hacked me. I need compensation. They've hacked me. I'm hacked. <laughs> you didn't do the washing up today. I'm hacked. <laughs> Someone hacked me. I don't think I could be with you. I think you'd be so annoying. <laughs> someone's hacked me. This I is why I'm saying, oh my God, the other night, right? So we don't really talk about our relationship dilemmas anymore because I don't do too well in my half. <laughs> For some reason, it don't matter about his part. But when it's... So, right, so the other night, I bought Olive like this giant sensory puzzle map. <laughs> it's a fucking puzzle for a two-year-old i said ethan i flipped the base bed i've done everything would you just sort that puzzle out for me please i don't know how to do it my my brain just <laughs> so automatically <laughs> closed my mouth and i inhaled and i was like will you pass it on the floor and figure so, it out then basically weaponized I, incompetence I don't yeah know we like to, to call it, it is weaponized it. incompetence but the, okay so uh, i i thought it was actually a puzzle in like, this piece has to go here. It turns out it's just an infinite puzzle where like every piece fits together. Yes, it doesn't matter. Because it's for a two year old. So yeah. if you bent to the floor, oh, that's one fine. step yeah. in front no, of you, I you'd have seen. I don't know how to do it. I don't buy it. I don't know how to do it. Because yeah, I, I, I thought it was an actual puzzle. And I was but like, ladies, you, wanna... <laughs> you, you, you have to learn what weaponized incompetence is because you're men. And they will all do it. They will all try and get away with it. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I can't work the washing machine. I don't know how to do it. I can do that, but I can watch your YouTube can, then. I whack it on delicate and auto. That's the only thing I know. And my stuff. Yeah. I, well, that, that one I just whacked on auto and that was bad. Yeah. Probably went to a 60 degree wash. Yeah. I've come out. Olive's, Olive's um, clothes were all grey. Yeah. My yeah, new yeah, shirt was grey. Yeah. I haven't Her touched clothes were shrank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fault was good. Thank but. you. I tried. Uh, Apple Vision Pro. Oh my God. Imagine partnering the fucking skull chip with the Vision Pro. Oh my god! Have you seen those? Um, you said Harry bought one to a studio. Yeah. Wow! I'm Amazing. To all of that. No, when you put them on, it's mental. It is insane, like absolutely insane. But so is real life, no? No, so mid. Really? T Pain was doing a concert on my lap. <laughs> T Pain was here. I was talking to T Pain. T Pain was rapping. T Pain was rapping to me in my face. <laughs> It was fucking mental. You can go to like top of a mountain and it's, it's, it's so real. It's Do you mad. not just think that ultimately delays you from actually going and doing stuff? No, oh, I went to climb a mountain. Don't I worry, I'll put the VR be, on. Uh, no, I because I, I would always prefer to do the actual real thing. Yeah, but I some think, people are lazy. I think what's going to end up, at, like say when I'm fucking senile and can't move, lit. It's mm. going to be amazing. Yeah, true. That it's going to be amazing, good, yeah. bro. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not going to get this one. 
It's like five grand, I think, Harry paid. I was paid. just about to ask how much. I think Harry it. paid five grand for it because it's not out here yet. So you have to get it sent from America. So, so Simon's yeah. got some. Harry's got some. I think Gibbs got some. They're really fucking cool. Yeah, but babe, you ain't going to use it more than seven times. Uh, Let's be no, real. Harry uses it. <laughs> Harry uses it in the funniest way. Uh, he he does all of his stretching and stuff whilst wearing it and wax like the stretching video in front of him and then transports himself to like a mountain somewhere and then he went to the gym the other day and he was just doing incline walks and he was like are you not getting funny looks he's like i wouldn't know i'm in a forest somewhere <laughs> i was like you're not fair dude so he'd whacked himself in the forest like everywhere you look is just you're in the wilderness and then he whacked a video in front of him i suppose that is good for my, like, motivation what i yeah. thought and gib used it in a good way he was in the boxing gym I know boxing with it on is quite funny to see, but he had like a, a bag routine there with the heavy bag next to him. So he'd watch it, replicate it, watch it, replicate it, which was quite handy. Then he'd had uh, people online do like, it's quite silly, but they like hold pads up on a YouTube video. So he had the YouTube video in front of him and was just doing the, pad. it's quite useful. It's quite cool. Yeah. It can be really cool. And also what's so funny is I'm like Ethan where's the child who I don't know I've got my VR on It remembers Brilliant. where you've put things so like I oh, that's could handy. I could go no no I mean like like the windows that you open in your thing in my VR say I'm going like this yeah I'm putting things if I was to put a YouTube video in the bedroom in the bathroom like I could leave that window there and fuck off downstairs for a little while it will still be up there She ain't gonna but yeah yeah, bro, it's mental. See, it's mental. I ain't got clue what it's talking about. It's talking about web someone, windows or normal someone windows. Someone left their uh, notes open on their kitchen island with like another like workspace thing or something. Went to the shops to go and get lunch. Come back, it was still there. How does it know that? <laughs> How? I don't understand. She doesn't get it. Yeah, but yeah, I'll show you later. Brilliant. Um, Wayne Rooney on Misfits, apparently. Yeah, you told me that. That shocked me. This is so funny. So we spoke about this on Sidecast. It's so uh, in Twin, the week. In the week, right? Where have you been? In the what? Me and Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Uh, I used to get called Wayne Rooney when I was when I was younger. That's why I said it. Yeah. Um, doing Sidecast and this in the same week. Me and Simon suffer from the same thing. You talk about the same shit. Yeah. Twice, mm. and I also talk about it at home. So it's actually up three times. Uh. Um, Wayne Rooney text we went JJ went through his phone I said I swear he texted you it was like two years ago he texted him hey mate what do you think about having a fight we could sell out an arena make some good money this was like two years ago and then recently he's come back up again but I mean two years ago Rooney was in a little bit better nick but he's a little bit of a pudding now who would he fight? He, uh, uh, he shouldn't Pineda fight. no I, he, JJ it'd be really ugly to watch Wayne Rooney get slaughtered by JJ. oh he would fight JJ no but that's what I'm saying JJ fuck him up Low. <laughs> really badly and then you don't want to see Wayne Rooney go out like that do you no uh, Wayne Rooney I really love you but but just don't do it what about JJ and Wilder JJ and Wilder Wilder would fucking kill him oh <laughs> who did Deji fight Mayweather that's who I mean oh Mayweather that would be a good one that's Wait, what, the, that's the what rumor I mean. is uh, is that well potentially it was always rumoured it has been rumoured is that JJ could fight McGregor now I'm here for that I'm here really? for that if that was to happen I'm here for it I'm here for it I uh, eventually hopefully he fights Jake and then we can kiss it goodbye but yeah. who knows um, but yeah Wayne Rooney on Misfits I want to see it but versus another footballer or sports person so like footballer versus footballer or football versus golf but it would have like, to be someone that equally as popular yeah or he yeah. can just fight all the all his wife's like all the mistresses he's got over the years so you want him to hit women his wife with Oh, yeah, no, that doesn't work very well, does no, it? No, it does it. Yeah, that's more than if the wife done it. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. that one through yeah. properly. No, no, you didn't. Um, but yeah, I think like, I know Wayne Bridge fancies a, a scrap. I meant well there. Wayne, Wayne Bridge fancies a little uh, chuck in hand. So Wayne Bridge versus uh, Wayne Rooney. The All Battle right. of the Waynes. Battle of the Wangs. <laughs> Bit weird. Sorry. But yeah, the Wayne. The Battle of Wayne. Yeah. What could, yeah what's a good pun on that? Uh, what I just said. The Wayne War. <laughs> yeah. I could not be a promoter. <laughs> no, no one's watching that. Um, James Tarkowski's on a dating show. This I am excited to see. So Prime Video, he plays football. He plays for Everton currently. He's a centre-back. He is on a TV show that's on Prime coming soon, yeah, called Married to the Game. Bro's just risen. <laughs> yeah. Everyone uh, looks so gorgeous. Especially you. Oh. <gasps> Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I, I planned that for you. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to be a husband, eh? I do. 
It's called Married to the Game, and apparently, yeah, he's at yeah, fair dues, but shout out to him. Bro was risen. West Ham wanted to sign him at some point, and he went to Everton instead. No. All right, uh, next up, it's time for role play. Oh, brilliant. Here we go. After the success of the No Two Ways Valentine's Day advert. The success. Thought, <laughs> it was successful. Where? I thought we'd try our hands at a situational role play. E.g. Ethan, you're a car salesman from deep South America and Faith is buying her husband his dream car. Ethan, you're very attracted to Faith. She wants to reciprocate. For, okay, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? I did, I'm not I, doing I, did, this. I, did, I did the Low IQ podcast and they made us role play as well. What did you role play? I had to think they was two very attractive girls and I was an unpopular schoolboy and I had to try and risk them. But I was like, you're right. Nah. Fill my shirt, boyfriend material. I don't know what they were All expecting right. now. Faith, you work at a coffee shop in Essex. Ethan is a labourer and comes in during his break. Well, from like, work. A, like a good He's very pants. rude and has a real issue about the fact there are different types of coffees available to choose from. <laughs> Just make my coffee. You're right, love. Can I get a coffee, please? Yeah, what one? Fucking coffee, please, dear. Do you want a latte, cappuccino, black, white, strong, like you? When the fuck has there been so many different fucking options in this world? Can a geezer just not get some fucking coffee? It's 2023. Please be all inclusive. 2024, it's love. 2024. Is there anything going on up there? Make me a coffee. <laughs> black, white, strong, milky. Listen here. <laughs> Woman, <laughs> make me a coffee. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the shop for assuming my gender. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Really good role play, that one. Uh, Ethan is the interviewer and Faith is the interviewee. They can explore various aspects of the job qualifications and discuss how Faith can contribute to the company. Where did we think we was going with this one? Did we expect people, the listeners to be creaming their knickers over this? I was about to say, this, this is going to be like the most... A like, couple of leads just feel like the start of a porn shit. This is what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, do you want me to bend over that stool or something? So how do you think you can contribute to the company? Start from the very top here. <laughs> <laughs> You're going into the... <laughs> okay, listen, it's directing the porn shoot now. Here we go. <laughs> I wore a skirt for a reason. <laughs> Let's go. Right, I'm just like, I'm sat at my desk. Oh, my bum's out. I'm sat at the Bit desk soon. with my pen and paper. Yep. Yeah, go on and knock on the door. Uh, yeah, hello. Hi, I'm here for my interview. Oh, I'm going to take a seat. Thank you, I have. <laughs> what? Well, you can't visually see me do that, so I'm verbally... <laughs> you have. Yeah, I'm sat down now. <laughs> What job are you applying for? What have you applied Car for? Car salesman. No, this is the, that was the first. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've changed briefs. <laughs> that was the first one. Right, well, I'm still being a car salesman. And You've I'm, applied to be a car salesman. Yeah, I'm trying a different firm now. The first one didn't work out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Do it. What does I it say? I've not read the doc. Go on. <laughs> Explore various aspects about the job qualifications and discuss how you can contribute to the company. Yeah, go on. So what qualifications do you have to, to sell cars? Um, I feel like it's all about people and communi communication skills. You can't um, speak properly. No, I stuttered. I have a stutter sometimes. <laughs> um, don't, 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 don't disable label me. <laughs> can I say that? <laughs> this is a shit show. Uh, Let me start again. Sorry. Right. So, what experience do you think you have in selling cars? I've watched every season of Top Gear. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I understand about make some models of cars mm. and have some very nice six inch high heels that look good around showroom. Okay. okay nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, how do you think you can contribute to the company? Um, I make a great tea and coffee. Um, long legs in a short skirt and high heels again. Really good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the interview. Do you know what uh, they do? Hired. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know next time. Bye. Uh, Faith plays the... My ankle today is grim. Faith plays the role of a therapist while Ethan is the client seeking guidance or support. Oh, Jesus Christ, happy the Ethan actually happy. doesn't need therapy. He just has no friends and desperately wants to speak to another human. <laughs> Faith is trying to learn more about Ethan. Unfortunately, Ethan just keeps asking her about her personal life. <laughs> Brilliant. So, what what brings you to therapy today, Ethan? Uh, I'm just uh, <laughs> I've got some issues that I need to get off my my chest. Let's start with family trauma. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. How do you feel? How was your upbringing? 
uh, it was okay, uh, but I feel neglected. But how was yours? I'm not the one in question here. Tell How's, me how more. Are you, how are you today? Are there any grievances or deaths <laughs> that are traumatic to you? No. <laughs> okay, tell me about your school life. Uh, I was naughty. I was a very naughty boy. Do you think that's because of your trauma? Yes, yeah, I do think it's because of my trauma. You relayed your emotions. How was your school life? <laughs> Again, I'm not the one in question here, but thank you for asking. How was it? It was great. Thank you very much. Um, so, what do you like to do for fun, Ethan? Uh, I like to uh, I like to watch football. Do you like to watch football? <laughs> No, this is such a boring job. Do people actually do this? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't do this role play shit, man. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, uh, do you have a boyfriend? Are we still going? Yeah, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, that's quite sad. I'm depressed again. <laughs> Can you help my depression? Booking for another session. To time's up. <laughs> that was 60 quid. Um, Double. I I I can't do the the that stuff. I don't like it. No, it wasn't great. I'm just used to pretending to like. Uh, should we talk about the ending of, of Love Island? Go on, in. because uh, Love Island finished and Molly and Tom won. Mm -hmm. I am still very much on Team Callum and Molly. <laughs> yeah, man, get back together. I'm so toxic. Man. <laughs> do you but know like, like the the England match where they scored and everyone's yeah. chucking their drinks? Yeah, That's yeah. what it'll be like across the whole of the UK if they get back together. It would. Um, I I think they'd be the new Kardashians. They have to do it. For like the culture, they, man. Genuinely, I think they would get so much exposure from it. Uh, do you know what I like? Uh, on the final, they sat like Tom on the outside and Jess on the outside, yeah. but then them two next to each other. My jammer was trying to throw She's it in there. She to. was like, well, exes get back together. Yeah. Picked out that dog. That Louis come in and... and uh, Louise. Louise, yeah. Faith was like, Louise. <laughs> it's, I think it's Louis. Yeah, probably. Louis? Probably. Or Louis. Is I don't it Louis? know. Louis. Might be just Louis. Anyway, geezer beginning with L. He come in and said, uh, yeah, I think them two want to get back. One-sided. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the one-sided one question or whatever, yeah. But man. And then Tom went, well, what are you seeing that I haven't seen? He went, that is one-sided. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. Um, they're just like, you can tell she, she's still got the twinkle, man. Yeah, well, at you can the tell. beginning, it's like a lack of communication, isn't it? Because at the beginning, she, Callum was like, oh, do you want to try and get back yeah. together? Do you want to make it work? But she wanted words of affirmation. Like, yeah, and Callum he just, saying, he, like, he's, he doesn't you're beautiful, do that. you're great, you're this, you're that. And I get it, I've got an eyelash in my eye, it's really painful. He just doesn't um, do that. He's like, I like, But I, if he did, they'd be back together. I like him a lot because he's very simple. Yes. He's, but, he's overly simple. But I understand how that would be frustrating in yeah. a relationship because yeah. it's give me more. Yeah. Oh my God. Ouch. Go and carry on. I'm fine. I'll just um, my apple. Who else? Uh, Georgia and Anton was rooting for them at one point, but then it just become a little bit grim to watch. Yeah. What do you think's happening with that? Because, um, well, I think they'll, they won't be together. Yeah. Well, Messi week. Mitch keeps talking about them and he said, how long do you think they'll last on the outside? And he's like, probably already split up. Yeah. I would, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, poor Anton though. He, he come on that series and bro was, bro was dropping gen gentleman game. Oh, yeah, no, he's a good guy. Proper gentleman game. Bro was grown compared to the last time he was in there. Oh, yeah, 100%. Still got a boner over Craig David, which was cute to see. Oh, yeah, very yeah. cute. Um, yeah, but even when Ella Henderson came in, she was like, Anton, like, you're my fave. I think that was like a subtle dig, like. Ooh. You're a bit better than what you're Ooh. getting. Arabella and Adam, do you see them continuing? I actually do, at least for a few months. I, I mean, for, I, I don't want to be mean, but the minute she meets another footballer or something, Adam, you're not staying with the wrestler. Yeah, because weren't she with really popular? She was with Ruben now. Diaz. And Ruben Diaz is like, he's a handsome footballer. Handsome and Man And he also plays for Man City. Man City. Like, and you are a naked wrestler called Flex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't see. <laughs> like, if you imagine that boy's group chat, it's like, bro, you lost to him. Yeah. I, well, again, I don't think footballers care because footballers probably share women, I think. Yeah, true. Um, <laughs> I don't think they're that bothered about true. that. They're all ladder. Yeah, is that? Well, no, okay, let's not speak down on like that, but that'd be quite mean to say. But yeah, I just think I don't see them lasting. Georgia and Toby. Yeah. I see sort of lasting. A few months to a year. Yeah, I think they, they've been through the ringer. And I did like the fact that they just firmed it by the end of it. They, yeah. they firmed it very well. 
I do think, no, like from a mother perspective, looking in, you would have wanted her to pick Kyla May for Toby. Oh, one hundred percent, yeah, yeah. Like if she's like, oh, I want to settle down, blah blah blah, and she was like, if you're looking for that stage of your life, yeah. Like cons about Toby, like oh, he's younger than me, he's there, that he plays games, like I don't know if I want to take the risk, and then bro just like leapt into the risk. Yeah, if you're if you're looking for that stage of life. Callum was the go to. I I get with Callum. Callum's a good looking <laughs> yeah, boy. Man, he's, and he's, he's chef too. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's good. Chef, good that's skill good to attribute have. attribute to have. Good skill to have. Tom is a footballer and he's just nice to look at. Yeah. I don't, I don't see Molly and Tom lasting that long. I, I do agree. I think it is one sided. But then I think the show was very particular in how they staged it. Yeah, I think again, they, we don't know how it's edited, do we? Do you know but what I mean? I think they've pushed the route of Callum, Callum and Molly, Molly but yeah. you don't actually see much of Molly and Tom together, coupley. Yeah, maybe they was edited. I it. did think Callum and Jess would win, though, because yeah. everyone's out on Callum's eggplant. No, but it, it, the girlies, the girlies love Molly. Oh, really? So, and the girlies way outweigh. Yeah. Yeah, the girlies love Molly. Uh, who else was was left in there? Georgia. Georgia and Toby, Anton and Georgia, Molly, Tom, Callum, Thingy. That was it, no? Nah. Nah. Arabella, they got... No, they were kabooted. Oh. Was that it then? Fourth, third and second and first? Fifth. Was there a, I don't think Are you just forgetting fifth. someone? Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> There's, yeah, okay, there's always four, so, so that it, was yeah. it, yeah. Um, what did you think of the overall cast? I think there could have been some better people. Maybe like, you know, like all the Michaels, Joanna's previous boyfriend. Yeah, they had drama on one before. Like, maybe I've brought in a few more exes of Islanders. Yeah, because the Molly and Col- Mo- Colum. 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 The Molly and Callum thing worked, but would it have been too much? It would have just been ex on the beach at that point. Yeah, but mate, they was the only exes though, really, weren't they? Yeah, but if you do more X's, it would have just been... Other than Toby. X on the beach. Just Toby's. Obviously, seen a couple of them. Yeah, Toby, Toby'd been in the villa. And when I say in the villa, I mean in the women in the villa. In the women in the villa. The bro had port Arabella. He, by the looks of things, he port Georgia S. Yeah. And who else come in? I swear there was like more. Uh, bro, bro's been in and out of that villa. Oh, that was one thing I was going to It's super incest. That's... I was going to say that, but I didn't want to get shot, no, shot down for that you bit. Can tell but it... I didn't know if I could say that. No, it's super in... Um, but by when I say incest, I think it happens in certain industries. Like, like they've all been on our island, so they all go to the same events, the press parties, the pretty little things or whatever. So they're mixing with each other all the time. That just means they're all... You just think everyone from Love Island I is pretty much out of each other. Not everyone, but I think there will be like, like Toby has slept with Arabella, Georgia, Chloe, whatever. Like there will be some people that have gone through three of them. Some people have gone through two of them. Mm. Do you know, and that's, that's a not, not a nice phrase to use, but do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I think in those rooms, there's probably like a slight, oh, but they went back on the show and fucking yeah. done it again. Yeah. I suppose it's a clout you get after the show, isn't it? It's like, is it worth it? Yeah. Cause I, I when I'm watching the uh, when I'm watching the fucking games I have to play, yeah, the heart race challenge, I'm not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. not doing it. I'm yeah, not doing I, it. I would be so bad at that. I'd I would like be more to elbow fight. someone in the face or something. I'd be more. T- I can't even fucking role play going to a coffee shop. Neither let alone, I, let alone fucking getting sexy in a. What would what would I wear? What would, could you picture me in if I? I think they choose your outfit. If I was doing the heart rate challenge, what would you put me in? What would I put you in? Um. <laughs> Tradey outfit. Tradey outfit. Yeah. What with cargos? Yeah. Cargos. What? Workman um, trousers with a little hammer and hard hat. A yellow vest I could rip off, maybe. Yeah. Cool. That would. Be, what would I wear? Hmm. I don't know. Brilliant. What did they have? They had like. They had. Lots of cleavage. I wouldn't do very well there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had lots of. Uh, they had some of their outfits were just shit. Like Molly's was just a bit of fucking latex. There wasn't any theme to it. It was just like a little bit of latex. Yeah, well, they're not all Who else? themed. Georgia didn't do it. Um, good reasoning. Mm-hmm. Um, my brain's like a fucking fish. Well, I'm kind of glad you can't remember. I can't remember any of it. Um, I don't know. I remember Toby was Woody out of a thingy, wasn't he? No, he was a spaceman. Toy Story. Oh, he was a spaceman. He was a spaceman. Someone was Toy Story Woody. Callum will come out as a football player. That was all right. Why do I remember the men? So. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so many people actually think you're closeted as well. I'm not gay. But well, this does really, no favours for it. This, this but it's does no really funny because a lot I see a lot of comments like, when, when will he just come out? I'm not gay. I'm just very uh, satisfied with my relationship and my Philip sexuality. Schofield said. No, but like, I'd, I, if I tell the truth, if a man tried to actually do anything to my willy, I'd probably hit them. <laughs> but what if it was that man from Greece? No, I'd still... He I'd thought still, about it. She the eyes. They no, move. I still strike him because... It, Enjoy it for a couple seconds. It's a fun. It's a bit off. of fun with with. Uh, like, uh, yeah, look, look, uh, no, 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 no. That's the, that's odd. <laughs> it's odd, but it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. I personally wouldn't wank one of my mates off. No, but I do think I could look at my mates' willies and laugh. You're just a knob night. Knob night. Yeah, where we it's just every now and then. Okay, let's no need to go into this. <laughs> Listen, you can look at your mates' knob and find it funny. However, I just wouldn't wank it off. Yeah. Um, what else is there to talk about? Um, what about dogs? Oh, oh! I don't want to reveal too much because there want to be a security breach to our own home. But we are thinking of Faith's farm and what we can add to Faith's farm. And I am actually looking at sheep, just two. I want to call them Dolly and Parton because that's so cute. Imagine how many sheep they were called called Dolly Parton. I bet there's loads. Or pick a mix. I was going to, I don't really want goats, they chew your fence but I call that Gareth South Goat. So I think that's funny. No. But no, we've got no. a goat pen, listen, I've listened for you for two years. No. It's just wilting away. Yeah, because eventually we're just going to wipe it out, it'll just be space. Nope. That's not how it works. When you leave things for too long, little animals burrow and stuff, so you're disrupting nature, you might as well just add to it. And listen, ah, oh, this Olive. is where I wish I had a Vision Pro, by the way. Olive, Olive, Olive. I'll get you one if you let me on my sheep. Um, Olive has been playing with Lorenzo. Mm. Oh, yeah. That, that's very cute, actually. That's there you go. That, I'll wake up for that bit. But this is <laughs> what led me down the sheep road. She is getting so into the animals and she's actually really enjoying it. I spent two hours with them. Yeah, she was, in the mate, the videos yesterday. are so cute. Again, wish I could show them. Yeah. But like, she was genuinely walking around with Lorenzo, like giving him a stroke, trying to wash him. And I him. wasn't holding him as well, by the way. No. She was just leading Lorenzo he, and, and up actually, and down. I wish Lorenzo could understand English. Good job. Yeah. Lorenzo was being a good He's boy. Really He's really good with, with her. Yeah, really, really, really good gentle, with her. Which is good because he can be a bit nippy. Not in a sense of horrible biting. No, but, but he just got... He's very young. He's yeah. not even two yet. So he's he very, very young. Um, But he can give a little with his teeth, especially those little fingertips because yeah. you don't know if they're carrots yeah, or true. not. Um, But he was just... W- up and down, up and down. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, um, she so, and she was laughing, yeah, she's wasn't proper she? Loving it, proper she loving. thought it was so good. She plays with the dogs now. So this is what I'm saying. If we've got access to farmland, why not? I did look into pigs as well. No, fuck no. No, but there's different different no, types of pigs. Fuck, I'm fuck not no. looking at micro pigs. I'm going to get they real explicit exist, on this but, podcast. But, fuck no. But I agree because they actually need a lot of stimulation. And they fucking stink. And horses are actually quite scared of pigs. They fucking stink. They are But they vile. said the next best companion for a horse is a goat, but I really can't be fat for them to chill my fencing up. So I'm I'd rather just goat. go for a sheep that don't need shearing. No. So if anyone knows anyone has sheep that don't need shearing and willing to travel, not that far though, give me no. like three hours. I'm not having I'll a actually goat. probably just send someone to come get them. I'm not up. having a goat. I'm not having a... No, no, no. No. Babes Farm, listen, the YouTube series is starting <laughs> and I want to actually hand rear the sheep. Oh my God, I want sheep twins. What do you mean you want to hand rear them? So when they're babies, so I can mould them my way, like, so I can make them love, like, be exposed to the dogs, the horses, like, well, go expose the dogs to the sheep first, but um, you can feed them bottles, things like that. If their mother's rejected them, you become their mum, which is so cute. Yes, Where I, are you fitting this into your day? I'm outside a lot now because I actually think this can be a bit... Where deep. do you think no, you're no, fitting no, this, this into your day? This is actually a bit deep and dark here, yeah, but I just feel like in my head, yeah, and it's not to do with social media, it's just so fucking boring in there that I've been so understimulated and I'm like, why am I not enjoying life, right? But that's fine. So I just thought, just go outside for more of your time and then stimulate yourself because I feel like when you're like stay-at-home mum, whatever, I know I work at the same time, but majority of the time, I'm with Olive, you're at work, right? It's very much your in-between four walls. So I'm trying to get up. I always take her out in the morning now. Do I, don't I? Yeah. Every morning we are up and out before she has to come back for nap time. When she was down for a nap yesterday, I know people are going to laugh at me for this because I tried to train a dash and that doesn't fucking exist. 
I still tried and I was outside and I was taking a dog up and down, come on up and down, just fucking go and do something. Because in my head, it's just very... So you want to feed sheep built bottles? Now. I feel like I am better just outside. I leave my phone up in the house and I just am better just outside, left to my own devices. Sure thing. I just feel like it's better. But I'm not getting And then once Olive wakes sheep. up, <laughs> then once Olive wakes up, I'll give her like a I'm banana not, or yeah, something and getting, then we'll go and play outside I'm not as well. I'm involved with sheep. <laughs> if you're not getting involved, I'll just do it then. You're lucky I'm getting involved with horses. Not, you I'm don't. Not. Oh, I asked Ethan to come and help me with the horses the other day because it was dark, wasn't it? Yeah, fuck them, Blair. And I said, oh, Ethan, can you come weirdos. help me? And I said, And guess what they did? They fucking sprint up. Yes, but that was because of your... Not quick no, time as no, it was Callie, all it was going Callie's fine. Fault. No, it was all going fine. I said, Ethan, take Pablo out the way of the gate. He was hold already... the one that boots people. No, but he's been better. And I've said, just hold him with here. With you, he's be better. Fine. Not everyone. Yeah, better we call him with the only people that handle him. Not everyone. Anyway, I had him. I said, Ethan, all the horses are getting around the gate now. Can you pull him out? I'm not touching him. Don't touch when now all the horses are in the way, they... I'm not touching him. And then they all started fucking going nuts. But if you just took him out of the way, I would have been able to get Callie out mm. and then get Ethan the two Shetlands the after. People and has nearly hurt me already. I'm not taking that one. He's actually nice now. You set me up. I'm convinced that was your attempt of killing me that day. No, I just completely forgot he was yeah, food Yeah, go down to him and shake his food at him. It's actually really quite funny Fucking geezer tried to kill me. So I know that he's food aggressive, but when I was like, oh, I'll just shake a bucket to get him in. So they come up, because obviously they probably won't let Ethan catch him because they're like, who are you? Um, so I just said, just shake a bucket, they'll come up. But then I just completely yeah, forgot that Pablo... I got Pablo... fucking stampeded by the aggressive one that tried to boot me into a fence. <laughs> I completely forgot that Pablo was food aggressive. So, I... so Ethan's like, he ran up. Me. No, I he said, ran Did at me. Get the horse it and then because and I he wouldn't, said no. <laughs> I wouldn't give him the bucket. He then started doing the weird like <laughs> kicky shit. So I just fucking dropped it. I was like, I ain't get booted in the chest. Fuck off. So he still didn't get him. No, in. I, I don't like that horse. And I wish I never named it. it can fuck right off. <laughs> he's a good boy. He's just baby. He's, he's just young. He's not, don't, don't, you're, 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 if he's a good boy, I'm a fucking saint. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, Beryl's Beryl's been renamed uh, D Dora is now Feral Beryl she's actually called Beryl even when, when I was with Olive yesterday I was like go and give Beryl a ball then mm. like it's starting to stick in my head she's not Dora right. I don't know who looked at her and went Dora yeah she's not she's, she's kind a, enough she's a fucker she's... she is really really I don't know if she's been broken in or not you know no, no I think she has I think she's playing on it because when we had that um, person who came come down to help before, you put a niece on her and she was fine. Really? Yeah, but I wouldn't trust her. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So we've got three horses that you can't really trust. Well, do it two. Two? Two. I've got two. Olive Callie's getting worse. <laughs> only at night time. Hmm. She's all right any other time. Like yesterday, I got on her yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. Um, and just put a bridle on, rode round bareback. Wow. In my trainer. So she ain't that bad. And then um, Olive, she'll come in, brush Callie. Like, Callie's very gentle, so it's just yeah. I wouldn't trust the other two. No. But they're by four, so what does that say? Yeah, fairs. No, I just can't. Uh, Baby age. And Lorenzo, he might have it coming, but I think where we've had him from young enough, he might be all right. He's probably like, oh, it's come here. Yeah. Don't sheep, have to sheep, act up. No, goats, no, pigs, no. I, do, I, do, I am seriously on the lookout for reef, and I'm seriously on the lookout for some sheep, and I want young sheep. But if you could send some information over about some sheep I want sheep that I don't have to shear because I don't want to have to shear sheep I'm sure you have to shear all sheep no there's one breed and they've got black eyes I think or something like that they've all got black eyes no can't really see sheep's eyes they've all got wool in them <laughs> so how do they see I don't know how does Dora see she got hair in her eyes ladies and gentlemen that cues up the ending to another fantastic episode of the Growing Pains podcast uh, if you liked it please like the video if you are on the YouTube channel click the subscribe button if you're listening on audio platforms please follow it and rate five stars if you want me to get sheep for face farm comment sheep we also have a clip channel yeah. Uh, so make where sure the to... baby trap comments will be going <laughs> yeah so make sure to follow the uh, Growing Pains podcast clips channel and also our Instagram Growing Pains Insta for funny carousel pics throughout the week jeez need to actually take some yeah bye bye <laughs>